table. That means how we can display some offline data on the client side. So to do this, I will modify my application on the client side. So I go search Project Explorer and I will get the application.html file as usual as in any uh, convertible application. So you see here I have my Hello World uh, sample. I will just modify this to add some information. So probably the first thing I will do is to create a button here and I will make a sync button saying I want to sync data from the server here. So to do this, I will just use my regular C8 call call and I will call a very special sequence. It's not a sequence like uh, usual in the server, it's local sequence, we call a full sync sequence. So this one will be FS for full sync and then I will have to give the name of the database here. So the name of the database I need is the full sync so I'm going to write it here is the full sync start up full sync uh, database well this name is exactly the name of the connector you have here okay so it should have exactly to be this name here okay good so now this is the database and I will just say now what sequence what verb I want to do on the sequence so there is lots of predefined sequence and one we may use here is the sync sequence so this one is responsible for uh, syncing the data to our model when we do sync here any data on the server for this database will flow up to the mobile and at the same time any data I have on the mobile will flow up to the server so I can put here sync now okay so this is the first thing I can do so now if I do this I will probably now have to put another button here so I copy and paste and I will use another um, uh, verb another sequence name here and this one is called view uh, view is to query a view so I will say I want to make a view and I have now to add here the parameters of the view I want to call so uh, I will use as a usual in Convertigo a data dash c8 o dash uh, variables variables equals okay and I will have here this JSON syntax here to put my variables inside so here it is and I will put my variables so one of the first variables I would like to put is the design document so the name of the document that is holding the views if you remember we were using design document here so this is the name I have to put design document exactly the same one here so I can uh, rename it just to copy and paste the, the, the design document here so this is a way to do it okay and then in the design document I want to address the view I want to launch so it will be view for the name of the view and I will of course give now the name of the view and I will use again control C to copy the name of the view so I'm sure it's good one and here I am so now I am querying the view so it will not be any more sync now it will be of course uh, list or query let's say query the view okay good so when I will hit the first button the data will come from the server up to my mobile device and when I will hit, uh, hit the second button well the data will uh, go to my uh, we I'm going to query the, the data and the view by tester will be called okay good now the last part I have to put is of course the list to list the data here so I will use as usual a uh, list view so ul as you know and allies inside so this is not very special I will call this a data dash um, role for to query to be a list view okay I will also have this to be data dash inset to be true so I have a nice list here and I want this um, this uh, list view to listen to the result of the view so data dash c8o dash listen 
to well exactly the same thing here so to the G here is so copy and paste so now I'm listening to all data coming from this view that's done and I still want also to be uh, iterating on each item of the view so data dash C eight O dash each each what uh, well when I make a query all the data will come in items okay this is the way it works so I will just say items here item there you go and now that means I can write in my li each of the names I wanted here so uh, we'll make it really simple uh, I will just have uh, a bold and I will have here a CTF uh, templating uh, tag here saying that I want the description uh, as uh, my uh, data I want to display if we remember in my uh, data we had some descriptions this is will be the description field coming from uh, the uh, the server here that will be displayed here okay so now that I'm here I will be able to launch my um, application so uh, to do this I will use my web browser and I will just bring it here so you see it okay then I can refresh my application and first thing we need to do is to sync the data from the uh, server to the localhost so to do this I can just sh show the network and if I do sync you will probably notice that a lot of dialogue has been done here and you have some data here showing that the data has flowed from the uh, server to the to the client here okay and now I can try a query and this will be displaying the list for me and here it is and I have my data here okay um, something is happening here is my list view has not been completely designed so probably I had a, pro a problem here uh, so I'm going to correct it and I'm going to refresh my page yeah here it is and again I will query of course I don't have to sync anything because the data is already synced so if I make a query I have a nice list and this is what I should have at first and okay now just to show you that this is the really offline we are going to uh, go to the uh, device mode here of Chrome and showing that it's a device I will just change this to offline here offline means that this is not connected anymore to the server and even though if I make my query well I will get my data well that's normal because the data is locally on the device now here okay so this is the proof that I'm now using data from the device and not anymore on the server so I can take my mobile device anywhere I want and I will have my data locally thank you very much for attending